Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week we're talking about emotions, and I shared with you that I've got a deck of cards that express emotions. And today I wanted to share this card. Because so many times this is something that we don't understand. Anger. We, we express anger when we're upset at something not being right. We express anger because we, we feel like we, we've been impugned. We feel anger because we, we've lost something. And as a part of our grief, we get angry. And when we get angry, it feels like this card expresses that there's this massive amount of electrified energy inside of our heart of hearts, and it just wants to find a way out. Now, anger is one of the things that, you know, sometimes we get taught we're not supposed to be angry. In fact, there's even a whole superhero thing called the Hulk that you won't like me when I'm angry. We, we, view, anger, we view anger as if it's a bad thing. And yet, when we look at the scriptures, anger is actually sometimes a useful tool. God himself gets angry. God gets angry whenever the poor are neglected. God gets angry when the system is set and rigged against unjustly against those who have no power to change it. God gets righteously angry. But anger is also a way that we understand what's going on in our heart. When we experience anger, it's because we have experienced loss. It's because we've experienced pain. It's because we feel as though something is not right. Anger lets us know that the world around us is not the way that we at least believe it should be. And sometimes that anger is just, and we should try to change the world around us and change the way things are going. Sometimes that anger is unjust and our anger is a bit more selfish and in that selfish anger we need to try to find an outlet for it because it is explosive and it, like lightning it's going to find the path of least resistance unless we conduct it through a channel that's going to provide a safe harbor for that energy when we get angry we need to understand where that anger is coming from it's it's inside of us for a reason Pay attention to the reason that you're angry. In the scriptures, God gets angry with humanity and probably angry at himself. In the Gospel of Mark, it says that when Jesus is crucified, the, the, the veil of the temple gets ripped in two from the top to the bottom. I can't understand any way that, that a massive amount of anger that must have taken for God to have felt that and instead of just parting the curtain out of the way, he rips it. There's this anger within us all. When you get angry, when we get angry, let us try to find not the path of least resistance, which usually ends up being family, friends, loved ones, innocent bystanders, but instead harmful posts on social media. When we experience anger, let us focus it through channels that are good conduits, let us think about why we're angry. What is it that's deep down causing this self-loathing? And let us listen, for God is speaking even through our anger. It's Pastor Nathan Decker reminding you to find ways to be better together this week in your emotions.